right then, we've got Cardioid, Figure of Eight, and Omni. This is the uh, Warm Audio WA14, which is kind of like an AKG uh, 214 or 414 clone. So it's got these three polar pickup patterns. What that means is that they, the, using the switch, you can, dis, you can tell the mic where to listen. That makes sense? So cardioid is gonna be everything in front of it. You probably know this, cardioid is what's in front. And it's kind of like, if this is the front of the mic, like here, it's gonna be kind of in a circle, kind of like that. So it'll reject what's behind it very much, but what's in front of it, including what's to the sides and in front, it's gonna pick up. A figure of eight will be what's in front and what's behind evenly. It does reject the sides very well. So uh, if I'm talking into it here, it's gonna get you and it's gonna get me just the same. So if it's equidistant, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but if it's equidistant between us, it'll pick us up evenly. But what's to the side, it will reject. And omni, of course, means all, means that everything around it is picked up evenly. So tonally, because the capsule is the same, the preamp and the settings are the same, the guitar is the same, position is the same, tonally nothing would change, you would think. Uh, but that's not quite the case. What definitely changes is the, um, uh, the sound of the room and how much of the room gets onto the recording. Um, so I'm gonna let you have a listen. I'm gonna play the same thing, more or less, three times, uh, switching it over between each. Um, I'll label it up on the screen. And then I'm gonna do something similar, but quieter. So uh, that might have an impact on the, uh, the room. So louder versus quieter. Maybe there'll be a difference in how the mic performs in terms of how much of the room it includes. See what you think. This is a Weber acoustic, uh, made handmade in uh, Vancouver, apparently. Uh, very nice, good for finger style stuff, very responsive. The strings are a bit tired, and when you're hitting it hard strumming-wise, it's maybe not the, uh, not the greatest, but it's a lovely guitar. So what do we think about the mic? Um, I'll tell you what I think, why not? Uh, the Omni, uh, I found the least enjoyable, um, particularly when playing louder. Uh, when you play a bit louder, more of the sound goes out into the room and kind of rattles around and makes its way back in. And because it's picking up all around the mic, a little bit of that rattle is coming back. Uh, so between chord changes, if you do like a stop, um, when you play loud, it tends to bring out the sound of the room a bit, which for me is not particularly desirable because this room doesn't sound that great. The cardioid uh, sounded good to me, sounded 
sounded really nice, but not as nice as the Fig 8. The, the figure of eight, I don't know whether it's rejecting the sides a bit more uh, because there's some cancellation uh, going on or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert on microphones and how they function, all the physics of it. But it sounds as though the figure of eight was ever so slightly more focused. It may be that it was just a bit louder because it's picking up with both sides of the capsule instead of just the front of the capsule, uh, which is uh, which is what the cardioid is doing. Uh, there are actually two capsules, really, technically, uh, in between. So, yeah, um, for me, I really like the figure of eight. And it's surprising, isn't it? Because you think a figure of eight is going to be picking up the room and that that's going to be give you more of a roomy sound than a cardioid. But I think, actually, the rejection of the sides is that much better with a figure of eight. Um, that, that there's not really a great deal in it. Maybe that's all in my head. But there you go, one microphone, three pickup patterns, nice to compare them. So now we know where to put that switch uh, for what situation. Thanks for watching. You can like, you can subscribe, or not. It's all good. <laughs>